वेलकम टू डॉट नेट लैब आई एम राहुल जोगराणा एंड दिस इज द पार्ट 19 ऑफ आयोनिक ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल एंड माय अपकमिंग वीडियो आई विल शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन रिट्राइव अ डेटा फ्रॉम रेस्ट पुल सर्विस इन योर आयोनिक एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ वन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए सर्विस that will be used in our ionic application so let's go and start it and create our application so i am moving to my visual studio so for creating a new project i will go to the visual studio uh, visual studio file new project and let's i am selecting a web from the left side of the panel from the template i am selecting a visual c sharp as my language web and let's i'm selecting asp.net web application and .net framework is my 4.5 let's i'm giving name as a student service and let's uh, i change the path of my physically store my project so resources and project select folder so this will be uh, my student service is my web api project and this will be stored on my physical location on f drive so hit ok and selecting a web api and let's give it as, a, as it is so hit and ok so this will create uh, some project uh, one project for us so this will take some time so while it creating let's create a one database so here i have one script available so i have created one database called student db in my microsoft sql server management studio so i have student db as my database and i have one table available so i have created one table students and i have inserted default value here so this script i available on my blog as well and video description in case you need it so i have run my script it here so you can see i have data available so i will uh, fetch the data from my database table so our application is uh, created successfully so go to the solution so let's close this uh, page and within our solution file let's create a one uh, uh, database in, uh, instance for that let's i am creating on my project add and click on add and new item from that selecting a data from the left panel and select adio.net uh, data model and let's i am giving name as a student model or entity model so student model so select uh, adio.net from the center panel and i am giving name this model from uh, model 1 to student model click on add and from you can see i have one dialog box option so select ef designer from a database means entity framework select next and from that we will create our new instance so create a new connection and from there we will create our database instance so here i will give my server name as a local db and forward slash version 11.0 which is my server name and from here we will select our database so in our case our database is student db which i have already created here you can see our database student db and we have two tables right now so from there select student db and test connection test connection succeeded click on ok and let's give it as a student db entities as it is click on next and from this uh, dialog box we have set of table available so this will give a two tables so in our case we need only one table students which we have created here students so we have data available on our students table so uh, click on finish so this will add one entity framework model for our project so our project is now built so our entity framework successfully added within our project you can see we have edx ready so within a student you can see within a your project you have one edx file so you have your table ready 
so let's close this instance and creating a one entity framework controller so under the controller right click on there and click on add N new item and click on web sorry web api and web api controller or directly you can create from here so right click add web api controller so you can select from here as well as from here so right click on there and selecting a web web api controller and click on give the name as a uh, student controller so students controller and click on add so this will create a one uh, controller for us so you can see we have our controller ready so we don't require this all stuff so i will not showing it right now so let's remove this string and give the name as a student so you can see student so this is come from our table so which have our in our student.cs file you can see here so we have our student ready so we can access all this field within our project so this will create it for us so let's remove this stuff and return some entity file so using database student entities db entities we will access our database so let's give name as a student entity equal to new student entities and within this we will access our database so let's uh, get all this data from student so students dot to list so this is done so let's return this all stuff so return so this is done so let's save these changes and build our solution build started so build succeeded let's run our application so on our google chrome we will run our application so this will open a student uh, web api service in our browser so our application is successfully run so let's navigate to our web api students controller so right click on uh, forward slash write api and students which is our controller hit ok so this will bring our data in our web api uh, web apis so now we can access our data but to enable our data within our ionic application we must change or add some data for cross origin resources so this will available the our, our web api in all project so let's stop this debugging and add cross uh, domain or uh, course in our application so right click on our project and uh, open a manage uh, new get packager and write this command so i have already written on my blog in my video description and search on there so let's stop this and click on this and paste run our application so install this package cross origin so install so this will add dependency required for our application so students uh, this will add it in our database so this is done so it will add it in our database so let's build our solution so build started so now we can access a course in our application so under the app start and go to the web api let's add some files here so this will run in all the api so let's enable course so to do that let's write enable enable course attribute so this is under our http dot uh, attribute sorry attribute so this is under our http file so using system.webapi let's include this namespace and let's give a name as a course equal to new course attribute so within that we will uh, add our data so let's add for all option origins so star and for all header for again star and for all request for get and post so again star 
so let's add this in our configuration file so config dot enable course so enable course and course so let's save these changes and re rebuild our solution so build started and again run our application so now we will access our web api in our ionic application so our application is run right now so let's navigate to our student controller so now you can see our application as expected runs so in next tutorial i will show you that how you can consume your rest api in your ionic application so thank you for watching this video so here you can find additional resource if you want to learn asp.net asp.net mvc angular js angular 2 asp.net web api then you can visit my youtube channel this all our list uh, playlist are available from beginners and you can learn from scratch so to get the notification or new updates please subscribe my youtube channel and the source code of this project are available on my blog and my project uh, this project are also available on my website and my github page and if you want to develop your application then you can contact me i will create your application as per your needs so thank you for watching this video and next video i will show you that how you can consume your application so thank you for watching this video